Dave, I want to apologize for the fourth time that we've tried this. Okay. Technical issues. Okay. Dave, we're sitting in front of your 31 Ford Model A with an unbelievable motor. And so, because your garage is so filled with projects, <laughs> your wife apparently came down last night and told you, Dave? Get rid of that car. Get rid of that car. And so here we are today. I know this is breaking your heart. Well, whatever. <laughs> you know, and uh, we're going to present the car. We're going to give as much information about the car as we can to someone who might be interested in it. So if you could talk a little bit first about yourself and your history of building cars, and we'll talk about this car in particular. Well, I've uh, built nothing but uh, 31 Model A's for all my hot rod building career. I think it's about a dozen of them. Wow. Um, this is the fourth Hemi Coupe, the last of the Hemi Coupes. My Hemi guy uh, retired, so, and my motor builder retired. So no more Hemis. Okay, wow. Are you gonna move on to something else or just start using short block Chevys like everyone else? Um, no, I'm about done building cars. I bought a place in Mexico. I'm gonna go down there Whoa. for a while. Are you gonna give your address at the end of this so we can all come down and visit? Yes, sir. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> so uh, talk to me about this particular car. Let's, I guess, start with the body, for instance. Well, it's, uh, like I said, a 31 coupe chop four inches um, the rest of the body is stock um, where did you get the body from this body came from Roseburg I believe Oregon Roseburg Oregon okay Oregon. so it was a running Model A when you got it yes yep. me and a friend of mine bought the car he took the uh, the chassis and the motor and I took the body okay so you say that you chopped four inches out of this. You did the work yourself? Yes, of course. How long did it take you to, to do the body work? Oh, I'm in this one of probably over a year. Doing the body, wow, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Oh, building the whole car. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so the chassis is sitting on a, a modern chassis. Yeah, it's a, a Blackboard Hot Rods 32 chassis uh, made down in Bakersfield, California. Brand new. Brand new. Um, right. Everything, all the running gear is all brand new. Of course, the motor is a 1957, so it's new but old. Um, the rear end underneath the back of this that is a? 9-inch Ford. It's got a, uh, a Yukon locker in it. Um, it uh, what axles? It's got alloy axles. Okay. Curry axles. Yeah. Rear end is actually a curry rear end. The okay. housing. Drum brakes, disc brakes? Uh, drums in the back, discs in the front. Okay. Stops real nice. Um, the front axle is? Yeah, it's just a four inch dropped axle. It's a chassis engineering ax axle. Okay. It has Pete and Jake ladder bars in the back and hairpins in the front. Alright. Um, and uh, the it's got aluminum covers over the disc brakes. I thought they were drums when I first saw it. Yeah, it's kind of, they're uh, covered up. Those are Pete and Jake's uh, front brakes also. Wow, yeah, okay. The finned uh, backing plates. Okay, um, transmission? Transmission, 700R4 GM transmission. And is it rebuilt? Yeah, is it's it all brand new. I my uh, buddy John Harmon does all the transmissions for me. So he rebuilt it for you? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's good. all brand new. Shift kits, I mean, did he do anything? Oh, yeah, it's got a shift kit in it. Nothing too crazy, um, but a nice shift kit. <laughs> nice Harley. Yeah, nice Harley. Nice Harley. Yeah, and so we come to the serious difference between your car and almost any other car you're going to find anywhere is that engine. Is that engine. Can you tell me a little bit of history on that motor, where you got that motor, and then what you did to the motor before you installed it? It's a uh, 1957 392 Chrysler motor. It's, um, I got it from um, 
my buddy. Let's see, what's are you gonna edit this? No, I'm not gonna edit this. <laughs> How about like I can't remember? I, I can't have, remember. I have some timers, <laughs> whatever. The guy at Runaway Tractor? Yeah, Runaway Tractor. Yeah, I can't remember him either. Yeah. Anyway, he's retired now, so no more Hemis. All right. Um, um, Jerry Peckham uh, went through the motor. It's got a, a modern oil system in it. Um, hot heads in it. Engineering uh, makes those parts for the motor. Makes it more efficient. Has dual quads on it. Okay. Uh, how long was the motor at Jerry's before he finished it? Um, the motor was there for probably about six months. So Jerry is, is the go-to guy. He's the go-to guy, which he's retiring to. Did you put a cam in this thing or did you leave it stock? Uh, it's got a, uh, a comp cam in it, a 280 comp cam. Nothing real crazy, but uh, makes it run nicely. Okay, and uh, the intake manifold is from who? That's a, uh, a vintage intake manifold. I believe it's an Offenhauser. Okay, and I'm looking at all those aluminum parts on the front of the motor. They don't look stock. No, that all came from uh, Hotheads Engineering also. The water pump adapters and the valve covers are uh, O'Brien Truckers. Um, okay, and it has these black, they look kind of like garbage cans hanging off the heads. <laughs> Those are the exhaust system. Oh! Which it does not have a whole lot of. It's uh, No mufflers? Um, it has a baffle in there that uh, doesn't do much. It's a pretty uh, loud car. It has a lot of attitude. Um, people notice you when you uh, are driving this car, that's for sure. So that's an interesting question. When you were building this, you had this theme of uh, uh, early 60s, uh, what was available, a Hemi motor, that was the motor. But with this car, you wanted to build something with, you use the word, attitude. Yes, I wanted a car with attitude. And so... Giant, loud motor. <laughs> <laughs> As attitude. All right, and no, there's nothing subtle about this car, from the motor to the paint to, to anything. Nope. Nope. So who did the interior? Uh, Greg's upholstery did the interior. It's all black tuck and roll. Is it leather or vinyl? It's vinyl interior in this okay, car. So you can spill water on it. You can spill water on it. You wouldn't want it. We wouldn't want it. Yeah. It's got a tuck and roll headliner. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, radiator I assume is a walker. Yeah, something. it's a brand new walker radiator. Okay. Has a cooling components electric fan. Okay. Stays um, nice and cool. How many miles have you put on the car? Uh, the car doesn't have a lot of miles on it. I think it's uh, just under 300. 300 enough, miles? 300 miles, enough to work the bugs out of it. And, um, okay. Tina really wants that car gone. She does. She doesn't like it much. It's way too loud for her and uh, hurts her ears and uh, scares my dog. And, uh, well, that will be one thing we do before we end this tape is we'll have you start the car. Okay. Now, we did start it earlier because it's slightly, what was the word you used? It's a little cold-blooded. But once it's up to operating temperature? Runs fine. Yeah? It's just, uh, it's such a massive motor, it just takes 15 minutes for it to warm up all the way. All right. All right, have you done an oil change on it since you assembled it and ran it? Um, no, I have not. Okay, is that something that we'll think about or the next time? Yeah, ownership? once 500 miles goes by, you can take the break in oil out of it. So, and is this something you would have knowledge of what you would recommend for operating oil or would you just let leave it to someone else to decide? We're talking Amsoil synthetics? No, I wouldn't put synthetic in it. You know, they didn't have synthetic in 1957. I'd just put regular 30-weight uh, oil on it. With some uh, zinc in it, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, Dave, um, unless there's something else that you can think of that you'd like to add that would you know, help someone understand the car and possibly make a decision about owning it, anything you want to say? Uh, well, I could have added some more louvers in the uh, deck wood, but there's just not any room. It's too <laughs> full of louvers already. So you're louvered out? Louvered out. All right. And you don't have, didn't design it for an engine cover? Um, no. And that would mostly be because the size of the motor 
house is a little large and who would want to cover up that beautiful thing oh nice yeah. one Dave you slip that in right can you help me for just a minute Dave? um hold on John oh okay oh I'm sorry oh it's all right John if you want to come over and you I can have no idea what you guys are doing. well we have no idea what we're doing either okay well I'm gonna start the car now. you're gonna start the car yep here I go all right Dave you're gonna scare little children and the dog and everyone's gonna be running yeah Dave, is it in neutral? Yes, it's oh. in park. It's in park. Nice job, Dave. <laughs> hot rod people smile <laughs> all right Dave thanks again and uh, if there's any other questions I'm sure we'll hear them